We're getting ready to saddle up some llamas. We uh, just got panniers and saddles from Flaming Star Llama Gear. Um, so just training wise, we're gonna go ahead and load them up with just 25 pound bumper plates, get them cinched down, and then uh, get them saddled up and start walking around and see how much of a rodeo we get into. <laughs> I really like these Flaming Star panniers. These are the Wrangler model, and uh, they got a weather guard kind of top drawstring on them. So we'll just get a load in here just for training purposes today. You can cinch them all the way down, kind of keep everything keep everything out, and then they also have the top flap that comes over and just get gets everything cinched down nice and tight. So yeah, so we got these loaded. We'll go saddle these llamas and then uh, get these panniers on them, kind of start working with them a little bit. Okay, so we've got Roy is the big white one here in front, and then uh, Alpa is the one behind him. So what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna saddle them up, um, put some weight on them, let them stand here for a while, and get used to it. They obviously have been saddled once before. This is the, uh, the standard llama saddle that comes from Flaming Star again. So with the D-ring to the back, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and loosen the belly straps. Straps hang down as far as possible. And then with the D-ring to the rear, I'm just going to come get him kind of pinched here. With that to the rear, I'm just going to put it pretty far forward on his withers so it sits right behind the shoulder blade. And then those belly straps will actually come through kind of the hairless portion um, below the animal. And then just very gently, I reach underneath them. I'm going to do the front belly strap first. So I'm just going to come through and up and just barely and barely connect it. And I'm going to go do the same thing with the back one here. Oh, settle down, man. So I'm going to do the same thing with the back one, come through, come back up, and uh, just barely get it pinched. So now I've got all four of these barely pinched. I'm going to go ahead and center this thing one more time, and then both sides at the same time, I'm just going to start tightening up belly straps. So get them to where they're snug on the front, and then I'll come back and do the back one. Okay, and then just come back and re-tighten. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure this load's fairly tight because um, this might get wild. These come with two D-rings. I'm gonna take the the inside D-ring and it's gonna go on this set of metal hooks right here. So I'm just gonna pinch him over a little bit. I'm gonna hook these onto him. I'm just gonna let it hang. And I'm going to get the other one just so it balances out and we'll get them tightened down here in a bit. These Flaming Star packs have a tie down strap in them that's just a buckle. And so with the outside D-ring, I'm just going to come through the D-ring to the center, through the D-ring to the center, clip it, tighten it down. And this just ensures that the pannier actually stays on the animal if it gets a little wild. And then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side. And it's that easy. So this llama is now loaded, ready to go. So we're just going to leave him tied up um, while we work on the other one. And then uh, let's take him for a training walk. Check this out. Daisy chained llamas. Daisy chained llamas. <laughs> Look at this. This Come is super on. cool. They're not super pleased about it. We're getting there. He's a llama leader. <laughs> Maybe not that one.
<laughs> you get that on? Yeah, I did. <laughs> so, I think with him, the only thing I'm going to change is go get a bungee lead with a, a no tension breakaway. Yeah. Just so we can walk them just like this in the woods. But, man, I didn't think this was going to work. <laughs> like buying Craigslist llamas and Lewis, I never thought we'd have 100 pounds of junk in there and we'd be walking around. Yeah, three months later, really. With like some problems, but not a sure. lot of problems. No, that's uh, a lot of progress. I think it's time for elk season, man. I think so too. We can't get here fast enough. <laughs> Let's go. Back home now. Oh, yeah. Ready to see their other little buddy. Come on, boys. The easiest way to do this is grab a halter. Oh, yeah, pull his head forward. And get the head forward. There you go. And then you can deliberately release him too, so just so they know who's who's in charge. Who's the boss? Yep. All right, good boy. Tony yeah. Danza is the boss. But... See you, buddies. Thanks for watching Stoke Your Passion. <laughs> Honestly, thanks for watching, too. <laughs>